नमस्कार वंस आई वेंट टू मीट वन ऑफ द आदिवासी मीन्स द अबर्जुनल अब ओरिजिनल पर्सन ओके ही वॉज नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड देन आफ्टर टॉकिंग सम इंट्रोडक्शन्स एंड ऑल फंटास्टिक थिंग्स आई आस्ट हिम हाउ वॉज हिज लाइफ ही सेट अर्लियर इन हिज चाइल्डहूड दे यूज टू वॉन्ट अ didn't used to stay at one place not more than 3 days okay and they are pure vegetarian not vegan pure vegetarian they used to eat only fruits and vegetables and all those things roots and all those things because those were available at that time then they didn't looted the jungle didn't exploited the jungle by having that they used to move on okay maybe some 10 25 people move on move on move on like that they wander whole south india then east west north india then even north eastern india and what happened then when the jungles got reduced they used to stay for 2 3 months 5 6 months maximum at one place so he learned lot of languages then uh, he said suddenly he saw some fire over there he, then he asked what do you think uh, that fire uh, who has created that fire i said maybe in summers it could be the natural fire but in winter and <laughs> even in uh, monsoon rains it, it must be artificially created yes you are right he said so he said that do you know ashish why we keep wandering i asked him why he said you know those artificially created fires they destroy the jungle in in that jungle then they keep the adivasi people nomadic tribes people or uh the tribes over there so that they can do their agriculture uh, activities over there for 2 3 years they do their agriculture activities and later on uh the powerful people come they grab the land and they use it for mining infrastructure building or they building their own industry or institution or whatever it may be it's so organized crime i said is it only in india he said no you see uh, we we are preparing the buckets and baskets of bamboo and beads we are creating some bangles and all those things for ladies even for gents we create some kind of knives and all those things we create by artificial uh, things i mean uh, by not artificial by using some our own ab original methods not artificial he said not artificial in fact so naturally we create some knives and all those things so that can be used to cut the vegetables one more thing we are pure vegetarian we eat only fruits and vegetables those who eat other things they are not adivasi adivasi means we are the servants of adi mata means the first goddess those are known as adivasis adivasis then he said that i heard the uh, discourse of your uh, uh, swami ji when he it was there on the doordarshan at that time and i liked his ideas and his authority to speak in uh, such a lucid and appealing language i said what was that uh, the crux you heard and that is the crux of my life as well living a life not with greed but with for need only and in fact you become your own friend not the foe and udhrit atmana atmanam natmanam avsadet i said that is what you want to say yeah atma vahi atmano bandhu atma vahi ribhu atmana means you have to exalt yourself you have to evolve yourself not devolve yourself and then you, i liked your this thought he said and uh, that's the way greed is uh, in fact uh, defying the life on the earth because because of greed we are killing lot of species on earth either they are hiding or they are doing they are getting away from human beings so then he said that you see i'm just telling the conversation that happened he said you know 
it is the human being that only can kill human beings other species may be viruses and bacteria if they try to kill you kill them because of you can create the medicines and all those things so human beings are the only uh, you know the enemy of themselves and friends of themselves as well so i asked him can we go to moon and mars and establish the jungle so why cannot you go and create the jungle but these people will come who are greedy people they will destroy the jungle or they create their industry again because that will come into your own genes he started talking on the genes as well he didn't go to any school he didn't take any formal education he was talking on the genes imagine how much knowledgeable he is and how much i mean uh, uh, how many language he knew I, i just told you five to six language he knew he was talking in adi in arunachal pradesh tamil telugu kannada also he knew gujarati and marathi also he knew that's why he could hear the uh, pravachana the discourse of my swami ji then he went to kashmir and all these places and he said you see only jungles are not destroyed even the desert land having snow or having sand it has been destroyed by these people only they do fracking and all those thing when i heard about fracking i said oh my my oh man you so my god even literate people don't know what fracking he know it it means he has experienced it for mining and in all these things whatever he told he has might have experienced it so this greed of human beings has created this environmental catastrophe this is your word i said yes <laughs> environmental catastrophe so when you told that you are going to come and meet me i have heard about you I, you know especially i asked him what are the things he do i hope you understand what is your final message i said as your swami ji said you can devote a life towards adi mata somebody can devote to shiva to his sadguru or whatever it may be that is the best way to live fulfilling needs not going after the greed then we can live a very peaceful life maybe on here or there where you go as you are saying so let us try to live that parmarthik life for all the times and you know let us try to perform work is worship at every moment that is his message as well so when i keep meeting a lot of seniors and ask them what is the crux of life this is the crux of him as well most of the people have their crux in their life so this is also one of the crux of life and that is the best crux he said that devoting your life towards the lord towards the goddess the adi mata and evolving towards you know supreme being and then everybody is going to die i liked your thought he said so then i touched it feet and then i saw you know the his weight eyes and i also felt very bad again i went and touched his feet and said please bless me that what you are saying i should be able to live that kind of life he said okay boy then i left okay so let us try to try to live such a life thank you very much